Hi, I'm Tara. Today we're going to look at gold effects and how to make gold text in Canva. So there's a few ways to achieve the gold text effects in Canva, but it depends on whether you have Canva Free or Canva Pro. If you're using Canva Pro, you can skip to this section now. But if you don't have Canva Pro, do not worry. Um, I am going to show you how to make a gold text effect if you just have um, the ordinary Canva. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a text box. So we're just going to make it nice and big and we're just going to type deluxe, but you can type, you know, luxury, gold, whatever word it is that you, you're trying to make the effect with. So we're going to change the font to Bodoni FLF. So I, I'm, I chose Bodoni because it's a free font. Um, some of them, if they have a little crown beside them, it means that they're part of the Pro version. And when you go to export it, so you can use them, but when you go to export it, then you'll be you'll be charged. So we we don't want that. So we're just going to make it. As I say, we're going to make it Bodoni FLF. We're going to make it nice and big, and we're going to add um, an italic um, onto it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to elements and we're going to click a shape. So we're going to just put a rectangle over this. And we're going to hit position and then we're going to go to layers and we're just going to move it behind our deluxe word. So we're going to make it center center. So it chose purple because that's obviously the last color that I used. But what I would say is if you try and um, pick a colour that's not going to leave a kind of outline or if it does leave an outline, it, it's not going to affect your gold effect. So um, possibly like this orangey colour, because then sometimes it leaves this like tiny little like kind of stroke line on it. So if you pick like a pink or a, or a purple, you can see that in your final in your final export. So we're going to change the font now to white and we're going to export it. So we're going to go up to share, we're going to click download and we're going to click download and we're just going to call it deluxe and then we're going to add a page and we're going to click on uploads, upload file. And we're going to click on Deluxe. Just need to be um, need to be careful that you're you're uploading the the correct version or the correct file. Sometimes it's it can get a bit confusing as to where you're saving stuff. So for each project, um, I'd recommend that you create a folder and then save everything into that folder, and then you can view by details and you can view by like, well, did I just export that or did I do it like 20 minutes ago? Um, anyway, okay, so once it's uploaded, we click on Deluxe and we're going to make the background black. And then because it's white and white, we can then, and because it's now an image and it's not just ordinary text, we click on Edit Photo. And once you click on edit photo, um, your Magic Studio appears. So when we click on background remover, it gets rid of all of the white. So then we now have a see-through um, image. So now we can start to add the gold effect. So we go back, we click on elements, and we're going to search for gold. So it'll give you everything first, you know, it'll give you graphics, photos, videos. So um, we're going to look at photos, I think, because they're kind of obviously the most realistic. But because we're using the free version, we're going to click on the filter and we're just going to filter them by free. So, I mean, yeah, you get you get lots of options. They're certainly not as um, they're not as good as if you're using the pro ones, but I mean, that's for a reason. Obviously, they want you to sign up for um, for the pro account. But as I say, it's perfectly it's perfectly usable and um, you get loads of different options with with the free version. So we are going to go, I think. 
I think I'm just going to go with this one here, which is pretty good. So as long as it has, uh, as long as it, it has a kind of difference within it, it it should work perfectly fine. So we're just going to make it the size of the orange box, and then we're going to click on position, and we're going to so you can kind of see. see that it has the, the gold look about it and then we're also going to add a light flare so if you key in light flare gold and once again we're going to opt, opt for the free version and you can click on graphics and see all I think they're probably they're a bit too star like as opposed to like a shine on a piece of gold so we're going to go with this one and we're just going to rotate it and we're going to make it bigger just so it's going kind of over most of the letters And then once again, we're going to position that behind the letters. So behind the letters, but in front of the gold. So it's it's looking okay so far. So now we're going to click on the black background and we're going to make it the same color as, so it's all orange now. And then we're going to click on download. And you just need to make sure that you're on the correct page. So we deselect all and then we're just going to be on page two and click on done and click on download. And we're just going to call it deluxe orange. So once it has uploaded, we're going to click add a page. We're just going to make that white for a sec. And we're going to click on upload. So we're going to click on deluxe and we're going to edit photo and background remover and then we're going to make this black and already it looks you know it looks pretty good so we just reduce this, the crop lines in and then you can make it bigger So because you added the extra kind of flare in the middle, it looks like it has an extra shine on it. It's, it's pretty good. So you could leave it like this and it's totally acceptable. It looks like gold text, um, but we're just going to add a couple of more things just to make it stand out even more. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate it. So I'm just going to move that up there and we'll move this one down here. So I'm just going to work on this one. So we're going to edit photo. And instead of going into anything, we're going to hit on adjust. So this kind of, um, it adjusts like contrast, highlights, shadows, um, and you can kind of slightly adjust the color on it. So if we go to the very bottom, um, you can either lighten it or darken it. So we're going to darken it. Um, and we're also going to Reduce the contrast, reduce the brightness, reduce the highlights, increase the shadows, reduce the whites, increase the blacks. We're going to add a bit of temperature to it. So it still has that gold feel about it, but um, but it's just darker now. So um, so we're going to click back on this one. And we're just going to position, I'm just going to bring that to the back. And we're just going to set it, just to give it that slight three-dimensional, you might need to just use your um, your arrows to to adjust it, because sometimes it snaps to the, to the grid. And then the last thing we're going to look at adding is we're going to add a gold flare. So when we were looking for our, our highlight, 
we we typed in light light flare gold and it should give you this um or something similar to it so if we right right click on it it'll say gold lens flare um you can see say see more like this but then it kind of throws up all they they're all pro so this is this is not so what we're going to do is they're far too big when they come in so you just want them to be kind of subtle just kind of shines on it I just do one more in the E Make it slightly smaller. And now it has a complete kind of gold deluxe feel about it. It's pretty effective. If you found this tutorial useful so far, please hit the subscribe. So everything up until now is um, using Canva free version. Um, but if we wanted to make gold text effect or gold text letters in Canva Pro, it's super easy. So um, we'll ju I'll just show you how to do that now. So we click on add a page and if you click on text and add a text box, you do have to actually add, add a text box in order to use this app um, that will generate it. So just, and it also depends on what font um, you have chosen. So we're just going to change the font to a font called Fabrica. So that's just a little bit too big. No. Okay, so once you have your font and your word um, decided, then we're going to go to apps and we're going to search for Magic Morph. So Magic Morph is this green icon here. So when we key, click on it, you have to have an element selected. So although it generates a new, um, a new image for you, you do have to have something selected that it can work off. Um, so we have our gold text selected, the word. And in the describe the look, um, we are going to key in 3D gold letters and we're going to click on magic morph so once it has generated them it can give you four different options so we're just going to move that down there because we're kind of not that we're done with it but we kind of are done with it um, and we're just going to click on these four just so you can have a look the kind of they do kind of look similar. That one is probably a little more three dimensional and this one is a bit paler, I think, yeah. So out of the four of them, I think I like this one the best. So we're just gonna delete the others and then increase the size. So it, like to me, it's absolutely amazing. It's the new, uh, Canva AI um, so this is um, kind of goes and generates new artwork for you it's absolutely brilliant you can click if you don't like the look but sometimes it um, sometimes some of the outline is a bit white or you know it, it has generated something else you can kind of see there but you can kind of get away with that as well because it's it could be a like a tint and um, but you can create again or you could go back and you can, um, you know, you can describe this out further. So, you know, so you want it um, heavily three dimensional or with a streak through it or, you know, you can make it more, more of an explanation. But I think it's pretty good. So then the other way to generate um, some gold letters or gold text effect is through the elements and searching for actual letters. So I'll just show you how to do that. We click, just add another page. If we click in elements and we search for gold letters, it will give you, um, so we're just gonna 
see all. And it'll give you all of these different um, kind of styles of gold letters. Now, some of them are absolutely fantastic, I think. Do you know, like, there's no denying that that's a gold E. Um, so that one, I mean, it's still pretty effective, even though it doesn't have that kind of true metal effect. But it is, you know, if you typed out, if you selected each letter, in your word and um and put it on a black background yes absolutely but the only thing to be careful of is that some of them like this one has view collection and it will give you all the letters all the um numbers and also a few um extra you know like ampersand or percentage mark but not all of them are like that um so we'll just go back to I'll show you go letters. If we key on this one, it doesn't have view full collection. Um, so you can say see more like this, but it doesn't give you um it doesn't give you the full the full collection. So um it's not it's not they're not quite as as good. So before you start, you know, keying out <laughs> All of your letters for your work just maybe um right click and um make sure that there is a full collection um available for your word so then once you have your word all put together um you can then go in and as i say you can also add um you can add extra elements to it so if we go back to our light gold flare but this is now we're looking at pro pro graphics um, so like as soon as you put it on, <laughs> it just, uh, you know, it just immediately lifts the whole thing. It's, it's super. Um, so it could, it makes them slightly smaller. You know, you don't want to totally swamp the whole image with, with extras, but it certainly, um, it certainly adds to the effect. So much easier to do a gold text effect in Canva Pro, but it's not to say that it's not um it's not achievable in in the Canva free version. It's, it's you can totally do it. You can totally get a gold text effect without having to sign up for Canva Pro. So if you've learned something new today, please hit that subscribe.